Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you guys are new here, what's up, I'm Ashton, glad you guys could make it. Today's video is a very serious video, and I am titling it, Dear Sioux Area. This is about my experience up in this city that I have been in called Sioux St. Marie, Michigan. This is my entire experience with the school and with the people, and this video has been in the long works. I have been wanting to make this for two years and I'm now deciding to make it because I am moving and I don't care <laughs> because I'm moving. So this video is dedicated to the people that don't like me, to my friends that know what happened and know the truth. This is just so they could get a better understanding of it. This is to my harassers and this is to the principal and other administrators at the high school here. This is for you guys, and I'm telling my story because it needs to be heard, and it is 100% true. I have no reason to lie because I am moving, and what would it serve me to lie? There's no point in it, I see. So, I'm not lying. This is the 100% truth. I have notes that I want to go over about what happened. Some of this might not be in order because there's just so much on my mind, but I will try to keep it in order. Also, all of the names will be changed unless the people have said I could use their name, and there is one, and she is a former harasser. She, we have since made up, so I'll get to that. But if you guys want to hear my story, which I highly recommend that you guys watch it because I don't want anybody to go through this, and if you are going through this, this is also for you because know that I've been there and I am with you. So I got you, boo. So if you guys want to watch this, please keep on watching. So around two years ago, the way to freshman year, I moved up to a place called Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. My dad is in the Coast Guard, so this is his last tour, and this is where he got stationed lastly. So, I made some new friends, um, basically starting out from the beginning part. Uh, everything was fine. In the beginning, I had friends. I was in the friend group called the Preps. It was the popular people, the athletes, the, the Preps. That is what we called them, all right? Now, in the Preps, they don't want you to be friends with people who aren't other Preps. They see other people as that's not a prep, lower. So they think if you aren't a prep, oh, you're automatically scum. That is how they think, and that is how most of, them, most of them think. Most of them are homophobic and racist, which I don't agree with, and that is what I soon found out whilst being in that friend group. So, anyway, I was in that friend group, and whilst I was in it, I just did not feel comfortable. Yeah, I, I was good friends with a few people, but I just didn't vibe with them, and I didn't like the way they thought thought and you know what I mean like you know that feeling where you're just like man this is just not my thing that is how I was with the press and that's perfectly fine and my motto is I don't care what you look like what your sexual identity is what race you are I don't give a shit I will be friends with you no matter what and the preps did not like that motto they went by prep friends no more like that anyway so, I became friends with a girl, she used to be my old best friend, we'll call her Stephanie, alright? No one liked Stephanie because she was labeled a hoe, she was labeled just a mean person, she just was labeled wrongly, but I don't like to listen to labels, I like to find out by myself, even if it causes me pain or even if it causes harm to me, I will find out by myself because I don't listen to what other people think. In this case, it was my downfall. Me and Stephanie became friends and I was perfectly fine, but... The preps, they stopped talking to me. People started seeing me as a hoe, labeling me as a person that I'm not, all right? Whilst I was friends with her, this is when the sexual harassment started. Guys would always come up to me and grab my ass. They would also attempt to touch my chest. To the upperclassmen, I was labeled as tits. That was my nickname to them because I have a larger chest than most freshmen at that age in my height. I am five foot, by the way. So I have a bigger chest than most girls in that scenario, so I was labeled as that nickname. And I found it, and I still find it, terribly degrading because I'm not a body part and I'm not an object. I am Ashton and I'm a human being and I would like to be called by my name. Nothing else, not a body part. So I was terribly degrading and the guys would always stare at my chest. They would make remarks and just touch me and just stuff that I don't want to happen. And I'll get more into that later on. Anyway, so me and Stephanie were friends and then we had a falling out because she was talking about me behind my back and I had video evidence and um, text message evidence. 
and also witnesses that proved it so I cut her out of my life and everything was good and that is where me and Brooke became friends if you guys didn't know me and Brooke are best friends she's my absolute best friend in the entire world and I love her to death and without her and another woman named Alyssa Alyssa is one of my other best friends I would not be here today and I can guarantee you that anyway so this is where I made friends with them and I was in their friend group so there's the preps and there's this friend group that doesn't really have a name it's just the outsiders, I guess. Uh, we were a mix of stoners. We were a mix of non-popular people, um, a few athletes, and a few smart people. You know, we were just a mixed group. All right. Um, so I'm cut out of the preps completely, and I am now hanging out with these folks. So while I'm with these folks, I make more friends, and this was the friend group that I was strictly in, along with Brooke and Alyssa on the side, in a way. So this friend group was a group of cousins, all right? They were all related, and then one was a boyfriend. So I have changed the names, but if you guys go to the school, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. There was Lacey, her boyfriend, Austin. There was the cousin, Kylie. The other cousin, um, we'll call him Marcus, and then a friend named Marissa. Marissa is, is the true name and she allowed me to say her name as well. She said over FaceTime that um, I can use her name freely. We have since made up. Alright, so I was with this friend group and we were all buddy buddies. I would stay over at Lacey's house literally the entire week and I would only go home once and that was usually on a Sunday so I could get more clothes. So I would stay at their house completely. We hung out, we chilled. Like This was my friend group and I sat there at lunch, right? So Lacey was in gym class with me, and I was in a weightlifting class, which was a mix of girls and boys. So Lacey is of the girls in the class. All right, so this is where the sexual harassment got more bigger. There was a guy, we'll call him Chad. He has since dropped out of high school, so haha, it sucks to be you. Anyway, <laughs> there was Chad. He would always make uh, a very loud scene about my chest. He would always look, he would always point, he would try to get me to jump up and down. He would do everything in his power to see my chest and touch me. And I did not like it, right? I felt uncomfortable and whilst I was in that boy class, because we had to swim, alright? Swimming is a requirement in order to pass gym. To pass high school, we had to swim and I was in this mixed class and I would hate to wear my bathing suit because I would do that because I did not want to be stared at and I did not want to be a sexual object that they called me. Well, I brought this to Chad and I was like, listen, leave me alone. Stop calling me this name. Stop seeing me as an object. Well, he decided to start a rumor that me and this other guy, we'll call him Malachi, that Malachi did some sexual act to me. That was completely false. The most that I have done is made out with a guy. That is the farthest time that I've gone. So all of this was completely false. But he decided to make this rumor, for what? I don't know why. So there was that rumor going on. And while this was going on, people were calling me a hoe because I would wear tighter-ish outfits, like a bodysuit and jeans and maybe a jacket over the bodysuit. That was usually my daily outfit attire because I don't like wearing baggy stuff because I feel like my curves go like that because I have an hourglass body shape so when I wear anything baggy it goes like that and it makes me look bigger than I am and I have body issues because I am a recovering anorexic and I um, had an eating disorder and still struck with an eating disorder so this is so much to take in you guys I'm sorry um anyway so all of this was happening so I was being called a hoe this rumor was going around and I didn't do anything I did it, and so I tried to get that off my chest, I was like, man, whatever. So this is when things started going entirely downhill. There was this girl, she was known for being a bitch, period. Like she wasn't nice, and one day she was being very rude to me, she was talking behind my back, so I did text her, and I called her a bitch. Well. Two days passed, she kept on stalking me in the hallways, and then when I wasn't looking, she jumped me from behind. Well, funny thing is, she got one hit in, and then Lacey over here decided to, th decided to throw her against the wall. Well, I didn't fight back due to the principal being right where it happened. This happened in the lunchroom, so the principal was right there. So I was like, okay. 
and I decided, okay, I got jumped, so I screamed, can I press charges? Because I was angry, and I wasn't going to stand for what happened. Because I literally called her out on her bullshit, and I called her a bitch. So, anyway, and that was my fault. My mouth got me in trouble, and I'm acknowledging that. But I'm that type of person that'll say something to your face, and I will say it to your face. I will tell you exactly how it is, alright? So I called her a bitch, period. So like I said, I was like, can I press charges? And then that's, it went around the school. Everybody was mocking me saying, can I press charges, blah, 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 blah. And funny thing is, it was by the preps. The preps started it all. And also, a prep, this is a little side note, a prep found my YouTube channel and decided to make fun of me because of my YouTube channel. And that is why I wasn't active for a long time because I felt ashamed and I was upset about it. But now I don't care. In fact, a teacher, put it up on the big screen that they had in there, and the whole class watched it. I wasn't in the class. So here we are, we have a teacher making fun of me for my YouTube channel, and we have other people making fun of me for my YouTube channel. Great, so, that, on, that adds on to the harassment, that's great. So, anyway, that was also going on. So, an overview of what's happening here, I'm being called a hoe. I had this rumor going around that I did a sexual act with a guy, which is not true. Then the, we have the mocking, and then we have the YouTube channel thing going around. So I am being harassed, and I'm being mocked, and I am having all this stuff happening to me for no apparent reason. Alright? So this is what's all going on. And I thought my friends had my back. Brooke and Alyssa have always had my back. They are the people that have not changed up, so I'm so grateful for them. Now, this is the ultimate thing that happened. We were at lunch. So there was Gunter, Kylie, all, and all these people. I decided to record them secretly as I was walking to lunch. So I set my phone on the table and went into my lunch line with Lacey, right? So the audio recorded Marissa, Kylie, and Gunter saying a bunch of stuff about me, saying how no one likes me saying how I'm a piece of shit and I'm going to get my ass beat someday by them and all this stuff that I don't know why they were saying it, alright? I don't. So anyway, I sat back down to eat my food and there was, uh, I was talking to Marissa, I was talking to Lacey and Gunter over here decides to turn to me and start bitching me out for no reason. He decides to tell me that I'm a piece of shit, I'm worthless, no one likes me, just leave, blah 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 blah, no one cares about you, etc. Making me feel like shit, right? So I go off because I'm not gonna be talked to that way at all on him. And after I was done, I said, just leave me alone, alright? He decides to kick my chair out from under me and made me fall on the ground and I hurt my thigh, right? And so I was like, what the fuck was that for? All right, and then all of a sudden, Lacey and Marissa are over here screaming at me for no damn reason, right? For no damn reason. So I got my stuff and I left the cafeteria. I went by myself on the stairs and started crying and I called my mom because all this stuff was happening to me and I don't know why and now my friends decided to turn on me. So that happened. And also, this is a snippet about what happened before that whole lunch, lunch table fiasco. You guys remember Chad, right? So, Gunter took me home one day from school because he got his license and he lives right up the road. So, he took me home one day and we stopped at Starbucks and I bought his little brother and myself and I offered him a drink. I bought it all myself and I was like, do you want gas money? And he's like, no, it's fine. So, he dropped me off at my house one time. He gave me a ride. So, Chad over here... He decides to tell Hunter that I'm using him. He decides to tell people that I'm using Gunter and that I am doing all this stuff to Gunter, right? That is completely false. He brought me home once because he offered it. And I offered him money in return, all right? I would never use a friend. I, I can't fathom people that use their friends for stuff. I can't. And he decided to make this rumor, and then Gunter decided to go off on me, and I told him that it's not true. I'm not trying to use you. I mean, I don't see a point in using people. He knew that I wouldn't do this to him, blah, 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 blah. So Gunter then told the guy, Malachi, and then Chad and Malachi, they're all friends. So there's Chad, Malachi, and Gunter. They're all friends, right? So uh, Chad told Gunter, Gunter told Malachi, and then Chad and Malachi 
texted me at the same time going off on me, saying how I'm a piece of shit, how no one likes me, and how all this stuff and how I'm worthless, etc, etc, right? So, I started going off on them, then I started crying in the bathroom, because when you didn't do anything wrong and you are being constantly harassed and being and these names being called to you that shit hurts you know um i didn't do anything and they decided to go off on me all right so the reason why apparently lacy marissa and kylie and gunter didn't like me later on in our friendship and I found this out actually recently from Marissa. Me and her have made up. So apparently, Lacey and her boyfriend, uh, her boyfriend you sat with us, Lacey was very controlling. She, if you were friends with someone that she didn't like, she would make you stop being friends with them. She was a very controlling person. She was a sociopath. She's a sociopath because she wants everything to be her, the, her way. She's the definition of a sociopath. So she thought I was trying to get with her boyfriend. No, I don't want you. I don't want her boyfriend. No, ma'am. I actually liked someone at the time. Why do I want your boyfriend? I don't. Period. So she accused me of liking her boyfriend. And then, out of the blue, she can, she decided to um, say that I sent him a tick pic. Excuse me. I don't send nudes. I don't send uh, solicited videos or pictures. No. I don't want your mans. I'm sorry. I don't want your mans. Okay? Get it through your head. So she decided that I did it. Did I send him a picture? He, he even told her that I didn't send him a picture. But I apparently sent him a picture according to her. So here we have me and the boyfriend telling Lacey that I didn't send anything. But Lacey still thinks I did. Alright? So she decided to get Marissa and her two cousins to go against me and decided to talk about me behind my back and Marissa later told me that uh, Lacey is a manipulator and said that all that I did all the stuff well in fact it it wasn't true and um, me and Marissa are now on good terms because she explained to me what Lacey was doing Lacey manipulated her and her family to go against me when I never did anything to them so me and Marissa are good, so, yeah. But anyway, all of this stuff happened for no reason. So, as an overview, here I am, a little freshman, okay, being sexually harassed. I got jumps, all right? I, um, what was it? I wasn't liked by the preps because I changed friend groups. My friend group at the time, the whole family, was talking about me behind my back. There was a rumor going around that I did this sex act, which was false. So all this is going on, and inside myself, I was completely broken. I didn't know what to do, and I was constantly being harassed, all right? So what did I do? I decided to go to the principal and the assistant principal, right? As soon as I got kicked out from my chair, I went to the assistant principal's office, right? I had Brooke and Melissa with me, all right? We went to the assistant principal's office. She saw the videotape, because we have cameras in the lunchroom. She saw the videotape of my chair getting kicked out from under me. And what did she do? Nothing. My mom came down and uh, talked to her. She did nothing. My dad had has gone to that school multiple times, bitching at the principal and the assistant principal for how they're running the school and how I'm being treated and how others are being treated. So, guess what? Gunter, he didn't get any punishment for kicking the chair out from under me and making me hurt myself, all right? Like, on my thigh, he didn't get no punishment. The bullies, so the friend group that was talking about me behind my back and calling me worthless and a piece of shit, they didn't get a punishment. My sexual harassers, they didn't get a punishment. None of them got a punishment when I went to the school so many times, when my dad and my mother went to the school so many times to complain about what happened, about the sexual harassment, about the abuse, about every fucking thing, the school didn't do shit. So, for all of you people that go to the high school and you didn't do shit about what was going on with me and other people don't forget other people that are being harassed sexually physically um verbally whatever you really 
There were so many people that I thought were my friends decided to talk about me behind my back and believe the rumors. Come to me if you have any questions or if you have any concerns or if you're hearing something, come to me and I'll tell you straight up if it's true or not. I have nothing to lie about. I treat everyone equally. I try to. And I don't do shit. Alright? I mind my own business and I'm friends with whoever wants to be friends with me. Alright? I try my hardest and over here I, I'm i getting fucking bullied, I'm getting harassed to the point where I have attempted to kill myself two times. This is not okay. At all. For all of you people that like to spread rumors about other people and like to harass them verbally, physically, uh, sexually, it don't matter. For all you people that do that, you're a piece of shit. You don't know what's going on through the victim's eyes, you don't know how they're feeling in the inside. If you are one of my harassers and you are watching this right now, karma's gonna bite you in the ass. I haven't done shit to you and this is my story and I'm telling it. And if you go to that high school, you know exactly, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Alright? Fuck y'all. You guys didn't do shit to help me out or other people. You, right now, you're all talking about if you ever need something, come to me. Or if you are ha if you are feeling depressed or if you are having these bad thoughts, come to me and I got you. We're friends, okay? You can tell me anything. You can come talk to me, right? Okay. I tried to do that. And I didn't get shit, man. Y'all didn't care. And I'm getting a little emotional because um, now they're caring about people that have depression. And now they're caring about um, making them feel better. But when I was there and I was going through the stuff that I was going through, and I attempted to kill myself twice, people didn't care, the administrators didn't care. When I went to them over and over again, what was happening? The preps who were talking shit about me and harassed me, you know, they did that and they haven't been punished. The only people that stood by me 24-7 was Brooke and Alyssa, and without them, I would be dead by now. And I can promise you that. So, fuck you guys, whoever harassed me, fuck you, administrators, you're a piece of shit, and I wish, I wish nothing but the best for you, honestly, alright, karma's gonna bite you in the ass, so I don't wish harm to you, I don't wish any of this, karma's going to bite you in the ass, alright, period, that's the end of story time, uh, I, I just want to say one more thing, that if you are being harassed, if you are feeling any thoughts of any, any any bad thoughts if you're going through a similar situation as I was if you need someone to talk to I am right here for you okay no matter no matter because I've been there and I felt the way that you guys have felt I will be here for you no matter what even though sorry even though you probably don't know me like we don't know each other I got you boo message me on Instagram Message me on Snapchat. Message me on Twitter. I am here for you. Period.